President Trump will not participate in the House Judiciary Committee's impeachment hearing on Wednesday. Kelly Sadler is with us, former special assistant to the president. The president is ignoring these hearings. Do you think that's a good strategy? Well, these hearings are nothing but a partisan show. Um, they, there's absolutely no evidence that has been presented in over 30 hours of, of testimony thus far that implicates that the president has done anything that rises to the high crimes and misdemeanors clause in terms of uh, in terms of impeachment of the president. Now, listen, he is. The way, that Jer the way that Jerry Nadler has set this up, he's had only three days to prepare for his testimony, public testimony, if he were to do so on Wednesday. They aligned it when he's at NATO, away overseas, conducting foreign policy. That was partisan. That was intentional. Um, on, when you look at back at Bill Clinton, they gave him two and a half weeks to prepare his defense. They've given this president three days, and we don't even know who the witnesses are. There's some sort of constitutional lawyers or not fact witnesses. So, no, I think the president shouldn't be participating in these hearings because they're nothing than a partisan show of which we know the end result. The House is going to vote to impeach. It'll go to the Senate, and the Senate will acquit. A little bit boring to boot, but that's another yes. story entirely. <laughs> All right. A top aide to Kamala Harris quit her campaign. She's joining the Bloomberg campaign. Uh, she wrote a damning resignation letter. Oh. I'm going to quote briefly from it. She said, this is my third presidential campaign, and I've never seen an organization treat its staff so poorly. While I still believe Senator Harris is the strongest candidate to win in 2020, I no longer have confidence in our campaign or its leadership. She's jumped ship to Bloomberg. Kelly, it's my opinion would be that Kamala Harris's campaign is just about over now. It's just about over. Not only did she write that letter, it looks like she leaked it to the New York Times, which wrote, uh, wrote a story over the weekend that read like an obituary, where they had more than 50 campaign staffers, former and, and current staffers, say what disarray Kamala Harris's campaign is. Listen, when you sign up for a campaign, you need to believe in the candidate, and you've got to believe in their message. And what Kamala Harris's problem is, is she has no aspirational message or coherent strategy to win this election. So I wish that former ca campaign staffer good luck on Bloomberg's campaign because it looks like she's jumping from one sinking ship to another. Oh, it's very hard to sink a ship that's worth $54 billion. You know oh. what I mean? Oh, but one that wants to ban sodas, one that wants to take away your Second Amendment right, one that says that you need to tax the poor because that's they're, they're, they'll be better off because then they can't spend their money on things that are bad for them. I don't know if there's a Democrat, an Independent, or a Republican that could think that Bloomberg has a chance. Okay, well, you got that in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly, thank you for joining us, Kelly. I'm sure we'll be seeing you soon. Thank you Thank you, you Stuart.